folks, it's Nana JL54. Hello. And I'm going to do a project. I'm going to st uh, start a project. Um, I had uh, promised a few people that I would um, do a little thing about um, doing a canvas, making a canvas, uh, and what you would need and the basic steps. So um, here we go. Um, first, what I do is I gather my supplies and I have here um, gesso. We can't live without gesso. Gesso, am I showing it? Yes, gesso. Any kind of gesso is good. I bought, like, this is paint, but I bought this brand of gesso. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and then I gather some colors of paint that I want. You know, I have a Jenny Bolin um, uh, New Ranger uh, number 8 uh, soap powder blue and then a, a regular um, uh, Apple Bot Barrel uh, paint. I love blue. And so I gather my supplies. I have a basket of beautiful ribbon and trims and lace and stuff like that. I always use that. And here's some more because it's going to be like a beach theme. I'm going to use this stuff. But okay, so those and there's some more of these things. I can't have enough of this stuff around. So anyway, so here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to take a canvas, any size canvas you choose according to what pictures you want to put on there and you attempt to canvas the same way you would do a shadow box you would remove this insert the insert you take the back off and you re remove that insert and um and then you just create on top of that on top of the i don't know if the cardboard in that the chipboard you would just create on that and you would um gesso it like this take your gesso it gets stuck, gets stuck like Chuck. Okay, and you just okay, just plop it out. Can you see it? I plopped it. Uh, oh, let me. Oops, I'm dropping you guys. I haven't done this in a long time. Uh oh, the legs aren't even. Oh, hold on. I have to get. I want. I know exactly the tripod I want, but you know that's for another day. Anyway, so there's my gesso. And you take a brush and you just hope you can see and you just spread it. I'm sure that these canvases already have gesso on them, but I like gesso because it grips, it, it, it gives tooth so that you're going to put perfect pearls or um, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do there. So I'm going to do a little of the sides couldn't hurt couldn't hurt and that's that so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna cut the movie off now I gotta get a couple bugs off of here not bugs but you know what I mean and um, that's that so that's got to dry before we work on it and I'll be back shortly I'll be back shortly Hello, it's me, Janet, Nana JL54, once again, and I'm back for part two of our little video. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here, and my gesso's all dry, and I want to show you that I went ahead, I'm going to do another one, but I went ahead, um, I don't know how to do this the proper way so that you guys can really see it. Um, I'm going to try to do a little more here. Okay, there. All right, so I'm gonna go, I worked in this corner here already, this corner here. What I did was I stamped it with brown VersaFine, and that's a shell stamp from Stampin' Up, and then I um, uh, embossed it with clear embossing powder, and so that when I put my paint on, it will resist in that area. So now I'm gonna do the other corner up here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do that with the starfish, so. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and juice up my get my stamp all inked up, and I'm going and I have a book underneath this to hold the um, to give it a good base for a um, for stamping. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it stamps really good or not because really what we want is a resist and a kind of a shabby, you know, I mean, the beach isn't perfect. So, and so I'm putting, 
clear embossing powder on it. I'm almost getting ready to spill it too. So I'm gonna brush it off there. And before it kind of, this one, it, the embossing powder stuck around here, so I don't know what's gonna happen with this one. I'm gonna brush off a little of the excess here. Try to, I'll probably get a shadow around all of it, but we'll see. There are no mistakes. So, anyway, so see, there's my book, and I edged, I put it up in the corner so I would get a good image. And so now I'm going to heat it, heat set it, and you guys are going to want to see this whole process. So I'm going to stop the video and uh, and I'll come back when I start. This is a long process for me. So okay, okay. So I'm back and. Um, uh, where are we? I'm trying to show you guys. Hold on. So this is where we're at. So I have the embossed uh, seashell or starfish and the embossed in opposite corners. So yeah. So um, what I'm going to do now is I have my Jenny Bolin Blue and I'm just going to apply it all over the place. Got to get it. Okay, and I'm just going to... I think what I'm going to do is take the top off and paint it because it doesn't want to come out that little. Sometimes these daubers are really stubborn. So, and I want a lot of it, so I'm just going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to paint it all over the place. And I'm going to do it a section at a time because what I really want to do is I'm going to take my um, baby wipe and spread it around some more. Uh oh. You have to be quick with acrylic paint and baby wipes. So I'm going to get it around. Paint on here. Let's see. Come on, Jenny. So yeah, we're just gonna paint it out because I like to paint everything, even if I know a picture is gonna go in this corner. I want to paint it anyway because if I decide to tear the picture down or whatever, I don't want to have to go back and paint. So. kind of hides the brush strokes. So I'm going to go back and get some more and I'm just going to keep doing this till I get my background and you can put it right over your stamped images if you want and um, and the baby wipe should you know it should be a resist the baby wipe should take take the color off. So let's let's try it out maybe I'm lying. We'll see. Let's see. Yeah. And see there's shadow from where the embossing powder, I didn't really clean it up good. This one doesn't have as much of a shadow. 